Hi and welcome to a new episode of a Crafter's Tale podcast. My name is Nina and I'm coming to you from Småland in Sweden. Yes, welcome back to all old viewers and welcome to all new viewers. I'm happy you found this podcast and I hope you like it. In this episode I will talk um, lots about uh, Christmas gift knitting and of course my new pattern, the Advent Mystery Mittens and the knit along. And yes, let's, let's get started. Um, yes, well I start by showing you my finished Christmas uh, gifts that I already made. And the first one is a pair of Lovica mittens. They look like this. This one is not quite finished yet. I wasn't sure about the embroidery. Um, and yeah, I made this first and then I thought it, it was too much, so I yeah, I only made I made this on this like this and I think I like this better. So I think I will change it again. And the Lovica mittens, if you don't know them, it's a the traditional Swedish mittens. And they are knitted in really, really thick um, wool yarn, um, sheep's wool. And I think it's a bulky weight yarn they're knitted in. And they have an interesting history. Um, that it was, I think, 18... 70 or something in, in northern Sweden in Lovica. It's a village near Tornedalen and there lived a, a woman, she was called, um, her name was Erika Vitala I think and yeah she and her family was not very, they was quite poor and um, during this time it was really common for women or and men to make their living out of knit, knitting, knitted yeah, selling knitted items like mittens, hats, sweaters, and yeah, so she knitted um, mittens and did sell them. And one day there came a man, man to her and he wanted really thick, warm mittens. And she made him a pair and when they were finished he was really disappointed because he said they're so stiff and hard, I don't like them. So she took them home again and she she washed them and scrubbed them with um, a wool card. I don't know the English word for this one, but yeah, I think you will recognize this. Um, use it to card wool, do you say that? I don't know. Yeah, anyway, she used something like this and brushed the mittens like this and in, in the, on the inside and the outside and it became really soft and warm and fuzzy and after that she gave them to the man and he was really happy and then I don't know how quickly it, it involved but more and more people wanted exactly these mitts because they were so warm and in Tornadalen up there she was from it gets really cold in winter so after a couple of years there her mittens became really really popular and she she teached um, all the women in Lovica in this village how to knit these mittens and she wanted them and um, to look exactly the same she had a exact pattern how to knit them and yes and uh, the traditional Lovica mittens they have this embroidery and the traditional embroidery is red, blue and yellow. And these are the traditional um, colors of the Sapmi, the um, indigenous people in Sweden, because they really like these mittens, because they're um, most of the time outside with the reindeers working in the woods and so they they really needed warm mittens. So the traditional, yeah, somehow it became involved that the the traditional colors of the Lovica mittens was the, the Sapmi colors and this embroidery is called Lovica or the, these colors are called the Lovica 
colors today and yes I, I did just uh, the blue and, and red and I knitted a pair for myself um, as well a little bit smaller and yeah they are so warm I think I don't have any other mittens that are so warm they have the this little tail um, that was for you can hang them over the fireplace for, for drying and I didn't brush mine on the outside so much because I think the snow gets stuck get stuck much better on uh, on the surface when it, they are brushed on the outside so I didn't do that but um, the traditional ones are brushed on the outside as well but I did it only on the inside they're really fussy and, and warm and, and nice and I really don't freeze it can be 10 minus degrees celsius or more and my hands are warm <laughs> and then I had some leftover from this and I knitted a pair of Versaga as well. First I thought they maybe would be too too thick for her little hands but she she really likes them and they fit her perfectly and it was perfect now we had so much snow and it was so cold here like uh, two weeks and she had them in daycare all along and they don't get because the wool is so thick the fabric is so thick the, she played in the snow several hours and they get wet on the outside but not on the inside so yeah it's really really nice these mittens and they look so cute for Saga look at this um, so yes so these are a gift for for someone and these are for me and Saga and these are they so quick to knit up you knit them with five millimeter needles and just one this is the big the man sized um, mittens they take me maybe just maybe three hours to knit or something and yeah they have the double folded cuff and yeah they're so warm and nice so if you have uh, cold winters and freeze on your hands knit yourself Lovica mittens I think I'm pretty sure there are patterns in English um, as well. Maybe I can, I can look that up and put a link down below to English patterns if you want to knit um, yourself some Lovica mittens. <laughs> yes, then I knitted some more children's mitts um, and they look like this. It's just some really simple um, mitts that I felted in the washing machine and I knitted these on three millimeter, three millimeter needles and it is Rauma Fienol and then I had them in the washing machine and 40 yeah 40 degrees I think and I think two twice because after the first time I thought they could be a little more a bit more um yeah felted so I did it two two times in the washing machine and they're really nice if it's not as co so cold outside they're perfect and these are for Saga and then I have yeah one more pair in the same color for my little niece and yeah you can do lots you can just make them striped or just a little pattern down here really really simple and yeah I, I try to find a pattern for for um, felted mittens but I couldn't find one so I just casted something on and they turned out pretty pretty good for Saga's hands for this size I don't know um, if you want to make them bigger or smaller I don't know how many how many stitches you should cast on but if anyone is interested and in, on how many how to knit these I can just um, whip up some uh, a little recipe on how to knit this size. Um, I don't think I will write a pattern for these. Or oh, what do you do? What do you think? Should I do it? Maybe in different sizes for children because I think it's perfect in daycare to have several ones. You can just change them when they get wet and they're really really quick to knit. Um, yes. 
And then I have one more finished object that I made for me. And this is a headband. It looks like this. And I knitted this in in a yarn it's from Svarta Foret, a yarn company in Sweden. And they sponsored me this yarn a couple of months ago in different colors. And I yeah used up one ball of of the white. It's um baby llama, I think. It's really really soft. And yeah, I needed um a warm headband because I'm taking Saga to the daycare with, with the bicycle every day and uh, it takes about 20 minutes and when it was so cold my head just wouldn't do. It was really windy and my ears are really sensible sensitive so I get um, how do you call it? Mm. Yeah when you have when your ears hurt from the wind and my yeah my heads don't don't work with with I get my ears ears were really cold and they hurt and so I thought I have to knit something really warm so the wind can go hand come under and I made this and it's a double double knitted fabric and I made it really wide so it will really cover my ear and yeah really tight and snug around my head. And I just sewed it together, like twisted, like this, so it's really, really simple. And I put it on a picture on Instagram already, and many of you were interested in a pattern. And maybe I just will make um, a tutorial for this one. Not a pattern, just a tutorial, because it's really, really simple. You just knit a tube. I think I cast it on 65 stitches. And... Then in the end I I sewed it together like twisted so it's really really simple so I think I will make a tutorial and put on a, a video on YouTube once I knitted one more because I have to film the process and yeah I can I can do that but I will that have to wait to after Christmas because it's um, yeah I have to, so much to do until Christmas and then it's New Year so yeah that has to wait a little bit but I will make. I will do it, I promise, if you want to knit such a headband. I can put it on so you can see how it looks. You can have it like this. I have it always under my hair, like this. It's really great if you have a ponytail, because I don't like when I have my hair, not in a ponytail, when I have a hat on, I have my hair so thick, so the the heads always like creep up and then they yeah fall down and I have to pull them down all the time back there. And if I have um, a ponytail, then it's so much up back there and it doesn't it doesn't look great either. So I thought yeah maybe headband would be better. And I think headbands are the new thing for me because it's so comfortable. And my hair is out of the way, but it looks um, looks good um, anyway. And yeah, and I really like this little twist here. So yes, I really like this headband. And it's so soft and warm, and yeah, it's perfect. Yes, that was all my finished objects for this episode yeah and let me show you now I have one more but I did that, that's the the mittens the Advent mystery mittens but I will show them at the end of the video and talk about um, the knit along so yes let me show you my works in progresses and the first one is not much to, to show yet but it's a pair of mittens that I will knit for my little, for one of my other nieces. I have three nieces now, so, and she is, she loves horses. So I thought I will knit her a pair of mittens with a horse. And I only made the cuff so far. I can show you a picture 
here how the mittens look. They're really pretty, I think. And it was a free pattern on Ravelry. So I think that's really, and it's really, really, really pretty. And the cuff looks like this. And yeah, not come so far yet, but I hope I will finish them until Christmas. Um, yeah, this is this one. And then I have one more. And um, do we have it here? And it's uh, one more headband for my little sister. And it looks like this. And this is a pattern by, oh, it's a French company. How do I call it? I will put it down here. Non something that uh, avec Anna, I think they're called. But I will, yeah, I will put it down here. The name and um, this headband is called Snowdrop headband and it's a free pattern you can download it on their website and it's really simple it's with double stitches and pearls and it's really really simple it's good for beginners as well and I am using the same yarn as for, for my other headband I hope it will be enough I really hope otherwise I don't know what to do because I don't know, have another yarn in this color that is similar, so I really really hope it will be, but I think so, I think it will just, I will just make it. <laughs> yes, I really hope that my little sister is gonna like it, I think the pattern is really pretty. Yes, so that was this. And then I have one more that I already showed you, but I think I will show you again. And it's the my my new sock pattern. I have showed you the first one that is already finished. And here's the second one that is almost finished. And it has this beautiful cable pattern on the on the cuff. You can see that, but I hope it's um, focusing. And yeah, it has on the heel and on the cuff. I don't. I hope it's not too dark now. Just will check. No. Yes. Yeah, and I will, the pattern is almost finished, I have just to make a few changes and I think I will release this pattern um, on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day, we'll see. Maybe I have too, there's too much with the family on Christmas Eve, but yeah, I will release them then and on in my library store for you guys. And the yarn um, I used is, this one is from Woolen Twine, the speckled one, she dyed it herself, it's a natural dyed. And the red one is um, Rauma Finul. And I, I think they go really good, well together, it's the same yarn weight. And I don't know, she had a shop update recently with some Christmas colors and with and sock yarns. And, but I think she will have another one after Christmas, but I don't know if she will sell this Christmas color again. But you can use any other um, sock yarn or, yeah, yeah, from Rauma Finol or other sock yarns will, will work with it. I, I knitted them in 2.5 millimeter needles, yes. The cuff as well, yeah, but if you are um, a tight knitter, I can re recommend you to go up a needle size on, on the pattern on, on the leg. Because otherwise it can be really tight and you can go, can't get it over your foot. So that can be a good idea to just go up on this little part and then go down again on, on the leg. Just 
to to yeah don't get it too too tightly up there so yes that was the second whip do we have one more do we have one more i don't no i don't think so i think that was everything knitting related right now um yeah, I promised you that I would um, make a video about different um, men um, sock mending methods, how to darn socks, and I have already started and I have already found three different methods and I have one more to go and I hope I can cut together and edit the, this video before Christmas, but I can't promise anything because there's m a lot going on right now. But I filmed how to do this technique on to knit a entire new heel flap. And of course I filmed on how to use this little thing, the, the darning loom. And I have used it on a few different socks. I can show you, I think, here. I did it like this. I did some different colors. Uh, here as well, a little, little smaller one, and it is. I can tell you, it's really fun. It takes a while, but you can be really creative. Here, it's just a white patch, but you can um, be really creative with different colors and patterns. So, I think it's really, really fun, and it's perfect when we have a big hole. Um, and it's not. I think it's not so good when when you have a tiny hole. But then there's, yeah, different methods you can use that are much faster. But if you have a big hole on your heel, for example, then it's. I think it's really fun and, and to do to to do like like this, or to knit um, a new heel. So that is that is a really neat way to mend um, your socks. I think. Um, yes, but the video will hopefully come out really soon where I show all the different ways and then I, I will link it down below. Um, so if you see this video in two or three weeks, then maybe it's already there. <laughs> and I recorded record this one week. Today it's um, Saturday, one week before Christmas, so just so you know. <laughs> And the last thing I want to show you is, of course, the Christmas, the Advent uh, mittens, Advent mystery mittens. Um, I will release this episode tomorrow, so then the last clue is out, so I can show you the finished mittens now. And they look like this. And I think they turned out so pretty, I'm so happy how they look and with the thumbs, with the hearts on the front and they're so so comfortable. The mid the thumb is really nice because it's on the on the side and it's really um yeah you can really have a lot of um room to say it to to move to move your thumbs and your hands. And I will show you close up on the bird. It's a oh how do you call this bird in English? In Swedish it's called a doomherre. And in German it's called a domfaf. And yeah, they look like this. And this has this cute Latvian braids and uh, the bows on the calf. The branches and a little star up here and yeah I'm really really happy with how they turned out and I've seen many of you are knitting these right now I'm um, showing pictures on Instagram I really appreciated seeing all the different versions and keep doing it I love to see all your knitting from my patterns it makes me really really happy to see that and yeah, so the last clue is out tomorrow and yeah, I don't think, yeah, there's a, a little long going on, but I don't think 
I have the time to do a giveaway right now. Uh, maybe in a in a coming year we can do a a little long together where I can do um, a giveaway at the end. But right now I just have too much to, other stuff to think about, and I have several patterns coming up, and and Christmas of course is always a stressful time of the year. But in the new year I think you will have time and energy to do a proper um, giveaway for you guys with a knit along we can have together but i'm really happy for all of you who are knitting these with me right now i just finished mine a little bit before because the second one i knitted um at the, at the same time as you guys but i i cheated a little bit and finished last night just so, so i could show you two pairs to um, a finished pair mittens and in the last clue you knit the thumb and you do the duplicate stitch on the bird the grey and a little bit on the tail and the, the beak um, yes and then I block them as well it's always they always getting before I did never block my mittens but now I'm always doing this because it's evening out the stitches so much and I just soak them in, in lukewarm cold water for an, maybe 30 minutes, an hour and then I, I, I rinse them out and I have mitten uh, blockers uh, but with this one I just stretched them out a little bit so the stitches would be yeah even out a bit and then I put them on the... Uh, um, to dry and yeah I think that that's it's looking really good yes that was I think everything now I'm really right now I have so much still so many Christmas gifts and patterns to knit on but I, I just want to actually just want to um, cast on a sweater for me uh, so much <laughs> I'm craving to <laughs> start knitting a sweater or a cardigan for myself and I really have to do it on I think on Christmas just to have some um, how do you call it some me time knitting just for, for myself it has been some time that I did knit a sweater for myself hi again um, the camera uh, stopped recording and um, so I had to I have to re-record the last five minutes um, I just noticed when I um, started editing <laughs> the video that there was something missing so here I am a couple of hours later it's dark outside I'm sitting in the kitchen now because Lucas is on the sofa and yeah I have a little bit more privacy in the kitchen and I lit my advent um, candles for you guys made it a little bit cozy I have uh, Jesper with me no, no, no not, not now um, yes but where were I? I think I was talking about um, that I wanted it to do some selfish knitting knitting a sweater or a cardigan and yeah I really want to have to do that um, after Christmas to just cast on something selfish and yeah do some selfish knitting I think it's it's needed um, yes um, what did I wanted what did I tell you yes I think I did wanted to tell you what I am wearing that's the modern Juana cardigan by Wenke Ruald she's a Norwegian designer and she made this pattern for um, Yelbo Gorn, it's a Swedish um, company just selling yarns and patterns and yeah so and I knitted this in the BC Shetland it's a fingering weight yarn really nice and yeah I've not worn it as much as I thought uh, it's really nice but I don't know why 
it's 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 a little bit more fancy I think and in everyday life I just throw on a normal sweater and when I'm at home or going to the daycare of the bicycle so I don't I think I don't have so many um, opportunities to wear something a little bit more fancy but today we were at a really nice cafe um, not far from us I ate lunch there, really nice waffles. It was on an old farm and the lady there, she's growing flowers and berries in summertime but now there was just um, yeah, some waffles and really nice cakes and, and yeah, you could bind your own, make your own, what is it called, uh, it's Swedish called krans, I think it's red maybe, I don't know, yeah. A nice um, Yule Kelts. <laughs> I would put the word here, I don't know, don't remember it in, in English right now. Um, so I made made one for um, my good friend because, um, yeah, Jesper, we can take Jesper with us to Stockholm because we are celebrating Christmas in Stockholm with Rika's family, and yeah, she she's watching him uh, over the Christmas days. And as a thank you, I made her this this glance. And I think she will be really happy about that, I hope. And yes. So we had a really nice day, a little adventure coming out and the weather was really really nice. With the snow has melted away almost all of it, unfortunately. But the weather was really nice, blue skies and really warm as well in the sun. So yeah, I did wear this today. And still have it on me all day actually. So I think I should wear it more often every day, live as well. <laughs> yes, but talking about cats, I made an pin for a good friend of mine. I don't, I haven't done so much carving lately because because it's yeah it's it's not so easy when it's so cold to carve outside. Hands get cold so, and I don't like to carve inside here because it's gets so messy so yeah but I made this nost pin for her it shows her two cats Luna and Leah I've met them both they're really cute and yes so I hope she likes it I will send it to you know before Christmas they're just some more details I will paint uh, a yarn ball and the the thread of the of the yarn is writing their names, Luna and Leah, and yeah, see how it's focusing. I think they turned out really cute. Uh, yeah, so that's the only nospin in a long while I've done actually, but it was really fun. It's carved in lindenwood and yeah, it was a fun project to do something more um, I call it something more yeah, familiar to, to carve animals that I actually know um, for something someone dear to me and it was fun and then I also carved <laughs> two ones for my little for my nieces for my older nieces and to play with for Christmas gifts and painted it with gold um, paint some red and I think they will have really fun with that hopefully play with. Um, yes, so that was everything that I had, that I told you before. <laughs> and yes, I hope, really hope you liked this episode. And I will not record another episode before Christmas because it's only a week left. And then we have New Year's, uh, so I will record when we get back home after New Year's some, sometime. Uh, so I wish you a Merry Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and yeah I see you in the next year. I think it's so strange to say in 2022. <laughs> I just have got used to saying 21. It almost takes me almost a year to get used to the, the new year and uh, now it's already 22 almost so <laughs> yeah but um, 
hopefully the coming year will be a better year for the world. I really hope so. That everything is yeah, getting better and I have I have hope. I hope you have hope too. Um yeah. So stay cozy, stay healthy and I see you in the new year.